grab your Bibles. Somebody. Yeah, go ahead and grab your Bibles. Turn to Romans um, 10, 17. It says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And over in Hebrews 11, 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that come to so, think about it. Do you want to please God? Do you want to please your dad, father, right? If you want to please him, tell him there's no other way to please him but by faith. Okay, how do you get faith? Supposing that you want to please God. You've got to go back to Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That means that you can't tell me, and I'm not, you know, persecuted or and condemning no one because I have to work in it myself. But you, no one can say that, yeah, I have faith, and you, you're not in the Word of God. You got to know the Word of God. You got to uh, do the Word of God. You know, I believe somewhere else in Romans, I don't, I don't remember what chapter, but it says um, it's not the hearers of the law that are justified; it's the doers of the law that are just in God's sight. So you got to know the Word. I'm, I'm telling you this because. The, the only way you're going to ever move forward in the kingdom, the, the only way anybody is ever going to please your daddy, that's, he, he's not like a father, like a, you know, like on a throne, like looking at us. He's our daddy, you know what I mean? He loves us. He's all love. So think about it just like a little child, okay? When you come up, when a child comes up and says uh, anything, okay, like sorry dad or anything, the dad is going to be like, all right, it's okay, don't worry about it. That's just how God is. He's not some other huge monster guy that's just ready to smack you across the face. He's your daddy. You know what I mean? And I suppose that as Christians, no, I don't suppose. I know as Christians that we need to please our daddy. So, the only way we're going to do that is obviously Hebrews 11, 6 without faith. Faith is trust. You have to trust. Him. And the only way you're going to get trust, like I said, Romans 10, 17. You gotta have the word of God. You gotta know the word of God. You gotta keep it in your heart, exercise it, all that stuff. Because sorry, we're not gonna. You know, what I mean, you're not gonna move anywhere in the kingdom if, if we're not having faith. And I'm not telling you that, like I said, to condemn anybody that hasn't been, but I'm telling you to encourage you. You know what I mean? Just move. Just, just don't let anything stop you. The enemy will keep you away from this. He'll put a television show or something like that in front of you for you to be like, Nah, I'm just not gonna read. Well, in Peter, again, I forget which chapter, but he says, uh, as newborn babes, by the, the sincere milk of the word. See, when, when you're born again, when you first get born again, the Bible, the word is, is milk. Just like a baby would drink a bottle like of milk, it's milk until it gets to, you know, a nice little fat steak that we can eat. But... This is our milk. This is how you grow. Okay, because when you're when we're born again, our spirit is new. Like a little baby. So it's we're a new creature. Old things have passed away, behold all things are new. Okay? So even like a baby needs to grow, our spirit, which is a baby now, because we're born again, it needs to grow. So feed it the milk that it needs to grow. Because you don't want to be twenty years from now. Yes, you could be still saved, but still a baby Christian, and you look back at the 20 years from now, and you're like, uh, why is my spirit not growing? Why can't I tell this mountain move in the name of Jesus, and it doesn't move? Because you're not feeding yourself with this word. This is what we need to be in, man. This is, yes, your novels and stuff and your TV shows, it's all good, but, I mean, come on. If you're serious about pleasing your daddy, our daddy, this is the only way to do it right here. There's no other way to do it. I don't care how good you are. I don't care how good of a person you think you are. I don't care anything like that. Right here. And this brings faith. Excuse me. brings faith. So, in closing, like I said, I'm going to summarize. Romans 10, 17, and Hebrews 11, 6. And, sorry, uh, Hebrews 11, 1 also. Yeah. Now, that goes hand in hand. Because... <clears throat> Do you know that one? Yeah, well, not off the top, but okay, almost, fine. almost. Somebody grew up faith, is a, faith, faith is a substance 
of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay. So faith is the substance of things hoped for. That means you have to hope. You have to hope. You have to trust in God. The evidence of things not seen. So it's there. There's evidence. You just don't see it. Because faith has nothing to do with your senses. There's no sense. You don't see. You don't smell. You don't taste. You don't feel. You don't touch faith. You don't. It's trust. See, this is stuff. I had to get over that. I always used to be, I always used to be like, I want to see. I want to, I want to, I want to feel it. But you're not going to get anywhere like that because you're not trusting him. And if you're not trusting him, you're not pleasing him. And what happens when you please your dad? You get things. Right? You get you get the things that you're asking for. Because I can say all day for, for 10 years, oh God, I just need this, I need this. But well, what did Jesus tell us? Seek first the kingdom of God. And to seek first the kingdom of God, you got to take a step of faith, saying, I'm leaving this what I do. I'm not going to watch this TV show like I do every night. And I'm going to take a step of faith. Because, I mean, leaving things behind and, and picking this up, you know, that's you're taking a step of faith right there. Getting born again, that's a step of faith. And when you take a step of faith, you please God. And when you please God and you seek his kingdom first, you get everything you need. That's pretty much the word today. That's good. That's good. Any uh, any, any thoughts? Any thoughts, John?